CFMU, we're nearing the end of the show here from Gore Park. Thanks for listening to uh, I Heard Hamilton. Thank you to the downtown BIA for having me back uh, for a third year in a row. And we've been talking about Welcome to Hamilton for the past hour here. And uh, I'm really excited for our next guest. We've got uh, the organizer of the show, Brandon Reed. He's also a Hamilton resident and manager of the headliners tonight, The National. And I'm super excited to welcome from The National, Matt Berninger. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Awesome. Thanks for having us. Thanks so much for being my, here. I'm wearing a headset. I'm not yeah. used to headsets. My headset no, on. It is on. Can everybody? I can't hear anybody or see anyone. I'm in a. No. I'm in a sensory change. deprivation <laughs> yeah. situation. But you go might, ahead. You might need to invest in one of these. You could be like you know Janet Jackson style. You know. Uh, these are pretty cool. Oh, she is. This would suit you. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. All right. Welcome to be here. I mean, happy to be here. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you for being on the show. Yeah, you know, we're really excited about the show tonight. Uh, earlier, we had uh, a couple people from Wesley Urban Ministries on the show talking about cool. it, and Max Kerman from Mark Hills was just here. Oh, so. awesome. Very excited uh, about tonight's show. I feel like I have to say first to the National and to you, Matt. Welcome to Hamilton. Thank you. It's awesome to have you here. Been here before. Love it. Yeah. Uh, good to be back. That's and, awesome. uh, yeah. Yeah. Have you been in town long? I know you've been rehearsing nearby. Uh, no, I got here last. I got here late last night at 1.45 a.m., and I oh. slept at the Alt Hotel at the airport and then came right here um, over to rehearse and, and get ready. So I haven't, been, I haven't done anything fun yet, although the Alt yeah. Hotel is pretty good. Okay. I haven't been there yet. Brandon, <laughs> Brandon, what have you been doing? We need recommendations. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. Art Hamilton. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've been running around since about 7 o'clock this morning, dealing with this morning. rehearsals and, and the show tonight. And You've been kind of running around for the past seven years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I wanted to kind of recap, Brandon. Yeah, you're from Hamilton. We don't have to recap the whole journey. I know you've been doing some interviews. Yeah. But, uh, you met the National in uh, 2005. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I met these guys in Philly about oh, yeah. 11 years ago now and um, oh. recently moved here to Hamilton. And yeah. Loving it. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. When you guys first met, was it like an instant connection with band and manager? Yeah. Did you know? Actually, yes. Yeah. Um, because we were playing at um, Kyber Pass, and we and the National had played there many times in the past, and uh, not had the best sound, not had the best situation. The, the Kyber, which is no longer there, is one of those dingy little clubs. That a great club, but that you don't go there to be able to hear yourself play. You just, it's, it's you know... But we got there, and, and, we, and we expected it to be, it to be typically miserable sound system and situation. Uh, and then all, we just sounded, we sounded, we could hear ourselves. Uh, and then there's this weird guy with tattoos, and, and I think he still had those earring things in his earlobes at that point. <laughs> may have. Uh, may have had those. And uh, we're like, who is that guy? Because he was, he was super nice, and everything sounded awesome. And it was like, we was, as a band, it was one of the first times we'd experienced that situation so i think we literally asked you if you wanted to come on tour the, that night or the day yep. yeah it was like uh bryce asked me to go on the road for six weeks in about like a week yeah and then uh, uh, that was it wow. that was that was when brandon started and he's never let him out of the bus since. Yeah. that's amazing is that like hard to come by i guess in the music industry finding someone that you just click with and has like you know your i would online. honestly say this uh yeah, it's it's really hard to find. It's really hard to find sound engineers and stuff, and everybody that just gets that is the vibe is good and they're really super pro. I, I'm honestly, I don't think I've ever I've never met anybody like Brandon who can oh, do fun. do so many things and do them all well, you know, and, yeah. and stay nice. So I know a lot of people do do a lot of things well, but they just they they you know turn into cranky cranky a holes after a little while. Yeah. And uh, not Brandon. Brandon Brandon's on top. Personality as well. I think there's. I think there's yeah. people. Work life. There's people that would back to Denver. Oh uh, really? Yeah. yeah. It's okay. <laughs> okay. You see the colors. You see the nice. Oh, the, the lines are light up over here. <laughs> <laughs> there's no lights. Yeah. A little bit of light, but um, no full light. <laughs> I mean, you must have seen, like, some people come and go, I guess, in the music industry over your time. So was there ever a point where it was kind of like a disheartening thing, seeing people maybe in it for the wrong reasons? Or I guess you got to stick to your Yeah, right? I mean, I think, I think there, are, there are a lot of people in it for the wrong reasons, yeah. but which are what? Yeah, you know, like, I guess the wrong reasons are <laughs> tr- trying, to, trying to step on people. You know, there's a lot of people in the music business that just want to, like, look out for themselves and step yeah. on other people along the way and, a lot of young artists, a lot of the artists, artists that, that get popular fast sometimes uh, don't realize that it's it's uh, how temporary everything is, and you got to be cool to everyone because uh, you know, it's this big ecosystem of people working really hard, and and everybody's doing this kind of job. Whoever's in a band or, or working at clubs or working at festivals, 
is mostly doing it because they love it. They love making, you know, music and, and touring around. And because nine, 90%, 99% of people won't make much money doing this stuff uh, unless you're super lucky. We've been super lucky. But most people in the music industry, I think, are have their hearts in the right places and are, are really cool. I, I've met some of the nice people uh, in this in this situation um, who've done music. But occasionally you come across, like, some 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 d bags that are, that just I don't know they've watched, they watch too many rock docs and they, they think that's actually how you're supposed to act and that's how they like, you know uh, a lot of people who you know bad Dylan imitations um, from a lot of the you know, touring bags but anyways um, not Brandon Reed <laughs> <laughs> that's fun it's great to, to have you back uh, in Hamilton here and I guess you've seen so many different scenes and cities. Uh, from your travels, even the Mountain National, you guys live in different cities, right? So yep. what made uh, Hamilton your place to settle down? We, we were just looking for, like, a nice place to raise our family yeah. and, you know, somewhere that had a good blend of living in a city but also sort of, like, nice neighborhoods. And we live in the West End and, yeah. and love it. Yeah. Cool. We, every day we're thankful for being here, honestly. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. For the National, living in different cities, does that just help, help the creative process at all? That when you do come together, the time is all the more productive or... Um, I will say a uh, big yes, that's yeah. exactly right. I mean, yeah. for us, it's been, um, I, I don't know if it's a combination of just where we've grown up and we're kind of, we've, we've learned to respect each other maybe more over 15 years. And, and so, I mean, there's still a lot of conflict, but, but, uh, but we have families now and there's, there's, yeah. we know how lucky we are. And the fact that we all, like, you know, we live in different cities and have kind of set up our lives in different places. When we do get together, it's like a retreat and it's like, it's fun. It's like, it's, uh. We don't live all literally on top of each other like we we, we used to. I literally lived above it is there. true that it is true that now when everybody gets together, it's actually like really nice to see everybody. It's yeah for for for, for about minutes. fifteen minutes, <laughs> and then you're done. Yeah, yeah. no, uh, yeah, it's been it's been really it's been it's, we were what we you know when everybody sort of went and started having families and finding different places to live, we were wondering like what was going to happen, uh, and thankfully and, and happily, it's really, really healthy. I think yeah. for all of us, yeah. That's cool, the way you guys work, too, with, like, uh, the brothers doing the music and yeah. stuff, and you work lyrically yeah. independently, I guess, that, that helps, too. You don't have to always be in a room to work. We don't with. have to. Yeah. We don't have to. I mean, like, a lot of what we do, is everybody kind of does it, like, in, the, with, in their bedrooms or closets yeah. or wherever it is. They find a place where it's quiet and, and, and goes to the private. That everybody kind of writes stuff that way. Then we all bring it together and throw it together in the room together. So we do both, yeah. uh, and both are really important parts of our sort of process, I guess. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't want to bring it back uh, to Welcome to Hamilton. It's uh, so awesome. You're doing the show, right? And I uh, thank you enough for behalf of the city of Hamilton yeah, uh, for doing pleasure. this. It's, uh, and have the National Area. It's such a going to be an amazing show. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, and it's I'm, kind of like my dream. Though, that's of amazing. My personal favorite band. So. Yeah, because I know Supergirl have wanted to get the National on the Supergirl lineup before. Yeah. So it's cool that they can uh, organize this event. And all of those guys, that anything they do is always amazing. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, there's. As soon as I moved here, I became friends with Jim, and Mark's my neighbor. And, yeah. Um, when this idea came together and it, the schedule made it possible, I immediately went to Mark and Jim, and they signed on right away, you know. That's amazing. So, yeah. Yeah, and I'll remind you, again, if you don't have tickets, you can uh, stream it tonight on, on Periscope. That's true. Yeah. Walk to Hamilton. Yeah. For you guys, uh, I know you saw, like, Syrian refugees coming in firsthand. You got to experience that, and that was, like, uh, I guess, a big um, inspiration to do something like that. Yeah, yeah, we were. My wife and I have been trying to figure out something to do locally. We've been yeah. in touch with Wesley for a while, and uh, at first it sort of looked like we were going to try to do some collections and, and yeah. distribution of goods, but um, when the timing became available for the for the national to be here in town, and um, when I spoke to Kevin Drew and Hayden and Max and Tara Lightfoot and uh, David Hickey and Mother Tarika, they were all like, you know, it was a two-minute conversation to get the guys to come and do this, so... Yeah. Yeah, everybody's been amazing, and I'm looking forward to it. That's amazing, and we encourage everyone to be on the concert to contribute to, uh, to Wesley and look yeah. out what they can do to, to help out, and I just say they need volunteers as well, so definitely encourage everyone. Sure. Yeah, I got to visit there uh, this week. It's not been on one of the cooking classes. Oh, great. It was really just cool to be there and just see it. Yeah. You know, there's a, that language barrier, but I could try something that they were making and, and interact with them. And uh, Yeah, Wesley's yeah, doing, yeah, Wesley's so doing a, a great job really with, cool. with, their, with their mission, so. It's amazing. Yeah, yep. again, it's happening tonight. Welcome to Hamilton, that new vision. United Church, we're running a little long, but while I have you, I have another geeky national question, if you yeah. don't mind. I've got the vinyl here if you could sign. Yeah. Well, um, I just want to know what it's like to uh, to write material and stick that out into the world. It ends up 
meeting so much so many people and connecting to people. And I wondered, was there a point ever um, along the way when you was garnering a bigger fan base, did the music sort of become bigger than yourself? Do you have to, like, detach um, something that starts with you? And, I mean, yeah. I, I, I have that relationship with music. I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm, like, people, artists and bands and songs that I just get so personally attached to, and it means so much to me in a personal way uh, that that artist probably could never understand, and it's probably yeah. probably freak them out. You know? <laughs> and uh, so when people have that, that experience with our songs or lyrics or whatever it is, it's all that kind of stuff, I I get it, I get it, and I, and I think it's awesome. And um, I uh, I don't think about it at all when we're writing songs. I, I, yeah. I, I, I I think I've tried at one point to think like, what, what, what will people think of this song? I, 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 I almost can't do that. That um, it doesn't help me get, get anywhere. So I never think of like, oh, a bunch of people are going to hear this. You know, yeah. usually I can only write when I am assuming that I'm the only one who's ever going to hear it, and that's that's when I can write well. Uh, so I hope I'm not too self conscious of, of the fact that I, whatever. You know, I, it, it's one of those things. I'm not. Um, I, I, I am so lucky just to make abstract rock songs about about. You know, sex and and marriage and politics and do it in my room and other people that it, it, you know connects to, to, to total strangers around yeah. the world. It's it's amazing. I feel like I'm like David Copperfield or something. <laughs> I get to, I get to make magic or something. It's so, so cool. cool. Yeah. 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 And I know you said that with trouble will find me. That was like a record you carried. He's also an excellent singer. Yeah. Is he? Okay. <laughs> Maybe he is. We don't know. He's Probably. never shown that talent to the world. Hidden talent. He's got good skin. <laughs> I was going to say, what's next for you guys? Because I know uh, with Trouble will find what you're saying, that was kind of the, the least you cared maybe about how the songs were going to be received, maybe? Like, it was a uh, freedom. Do you yeah. feel that even with the next one going forward? Yeah. Like, well, so? Yeah. I, I, I mean, I got to say, I do. I feel pretty free about yeah. I'm not. We used to stress out about, like, when are we going to disappear? Were people going to, uh, you know, like, we're, we're, was this record going to be the record that just starts to, to fizzle and then? People start not showing up anymore because that's usually what happens to bands, you know. And it's like it's not no shame, that, but like we've always been expecting it. We, something happened. We, we we got through that hump. I don't know. Now we now we don't worry so much about uh, about the, the career part of it. Just, the big thing we do worry about is that are we going to keep ourselves excited creatively and all that kind of stuff? And we are still. So yeah, I, it, weirdly we're we're, we're enjoying. Um, the process now of making making this stuff more than we ever did. Um, I don't know if it makes us any better at what we're doing, but but we are, are doing it unencumbered by by too much uh, self consciousness, I guess, or stress. Uh, there's still a healthy amount of it, but it's not as yeah. much as there used to be. Yeah, that's good. And just working on new material coming up. Is that the next thing for you? Yeah, we. Yeah, there's, we are. Uh, I think Rama's done. No, no. Um, uh, but we're right. You're done. Well. They got to write. Something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna mumble. Yeah. We associate when it's time, time to go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just a word soup. Um, no, but uh, uh, yeah, no, it's it's going really well. It's really exciting, and, and and the songs are weird. The songs are weird right now, um, which is I'm really happy. About. Yeah. yeah, I kind of hope they stay weird. Yeah, I love the, the Elvi record too. I got to say, oh, thank that, you. That, that was that another like a uh, just. Creative, yeah, yeah, that, was, that was, well, I mean, it wasn't like, I didn't go into that thinking, like, I'm going to do something different, um, but uh, Brent, who, who, who I, I made that record with, is just a different type of musician, so yeah. the chemistry between us was, was really different, and I did, I, I wanted to write songs about things in a different way, uh, right. so that was, there's more of a character going on a little bit, I think, in Elvi, um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's hard to explain. I mean, I, I, I think about it when I listen to that record now. I'm surprised. Like, yeah, that's that's a really different thing from what to do with the national. Yeah, I think. But um, so yeah, all that's part of the whole. Everybody, all everybody in our band is doing lots of side projects, yeah. whether it's symphonies or producing or, uh, you know, whatever, yeah. touring touring with Bob Weir and and all that stuff is making us, uh, I think, uh, uh, excited about you know, and just we're all we're bringing back lots of different ingredients. Um, that we've been discovering out in these other adventures we're doing, and who knows what it's going to taste like. But uh, uh, but I think it's healthy for us. So yeah. That's awesome, Rick. Yeah, I mentioned the day of the day too as well. There's another project yeah. uh, that the guys are working on. Yeah, I, I live in Venice, California, and all these like old hippies are, are like recognizing. Uh, <laughs> just literally, <Made> it. <laughs> I think this came out last week, and suddenly yeah. people are like, oh, there's this, there's this dude who did the, yeah, and, and like 
they've never heard of the National, but they've 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 heard my cover of our cover of Peggy up like a hundred times already. So, yeah, all the dispensaries around Venice, California, are, are cranking them out the windows. Um, when I when I ride past and scowl at that. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> That's anyway, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm bringing it back uh, to tonight. Welcome to Hamilton. We're, we're so excited for the show tonight, and I thank you so much for being here. This is yeah. the coolest thing that I've ever done in five years of my little blog. No worries. I'm really yeah. Thank you so much, Me guys. Me too. All right. Yeah. Maybe this. This is good. This is a good time. <laughs> so cool. It's a little windy. Yeah, this is like a good introduction for you to Hamilton in the middle of the park in yeah. the middle of the day. You know, yeah. Just hanging out. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Thanks yeah. so much, and I look forward to, to the show tonight. See you tonight. Awesome. Yeah. That's Thanks perfect. so much, everyone. Uh, check out again welcome to Hamilton.org for how you can uh, help out uh, beyond the show. And thank you so much for listening today. Thank you to the Downtown BAA for having me. Thanks to Jamie back in studio. Thanks so much to Sophia from you for helping me out. Thanks, and, Mark. Uh, I'll see everyone soon. Thanks so much. Thanks. Awesome. <laughs> Beautiful heaven hanging over me